Hi, I'm Mr. Smith. And I'm Angel. And we're here to help you get ready for the geometry star test. Um, we're using the star release problems. Um, we're going to start with uh, standard one. Standard one says, students demonstrate understanding by identifying and giving examples of undefined terms, axioms, theorems, and inductive and deductive reasoning. So that's a lot of stuff. If you look at this chart, it tells us that standard one is dealt with in problems one, two, and three. So right now we're going to do problems one, two, and three out of the packet. So let's start at the first one. This is problem one. It says, which of the following best describes deductive reasoning? So we've got this word deductive. Deductive tells us that we're going to use logic, um, known information, to find new information. So let's le find the one that sounds like that. So A says, using logic to draw conclusions, conclusions, that sounds like new information, based it on accepted statements. So that's known information. So that sounds really good. Okay, let's see if anything's better. Accepting the meaning of an item without definition? That just sounds like a bad, bad uh, idea. Uh, defining mathematical terms to correspond with physical objects. Um, that's not deductive reasoning. Uh, inferring a general truth by examining a number of specific examples. This is actually inductive. Inferring a general truth. In other words, using a series of observations to come up with the general idea. That's inductive, but we're looking for deductive. So I'm going to go with A, using logic to draw conclusions based on accepted statements. Do you agree, Angel? Yep. All right. <laughs> Number two, in the diagram, angle one is congruent to angle four. Well, the first thing you should ever do is, if you have some given information, is to mark it immediately because it helps you solve the problem. Okay, which of the following conclusions does not have to be true? So, A, angle 3 and angle 4 are supplementary angles. Well, here's angle 3 and angle 4. As we can tell, they're vertical angles. So, they're definitely congruent, but they're not necessarily supplementary. Um, so, let's, so, this is probably not true. So, I'm going to say that that's probably the answer, because after all, it says does not have to be true. So that doesn't sound likely. I think that's probably the best answer in that, in the, in, uh, in that case. Line L is parallel to line M. Well, let's look at this. If 1 and 4 are congruent, and they are alternate exterior angles, when alternate exterior angles are congruent, the lines are parallel. So that does have to be true, which means that cannot be the answer. Uh, angle 1 is congruent to angle 3. Well, again, if these are congruent, then the lines are parallel. And if that's true, then corresponding angles, like 1 and 3 are corresponding, that also has to be true, so therefore that cannot be the answer. And last, angle 2 is congruent to angle 3. Well, angle 2 and angle 3 um, are alternate interior angles, and again, if the lines are parallel, which is true because the alternate exterior angles are parallel, then the alternate interior angles have to also be congruent. So that can't be the answer. So the answer, again, is A. <clears throat> Angle 3 and angle 4 do not need to be supplementary. They're definitely congruent. The only way they would be supplementary is if they're both 90. So the answer is A. Last, consider the argument below. Uh, 1, uh, every multiple of 4 is even. Okay, so all multiples of 4 are even. 376 is a multiple of 4. Therefore, 376 is even. Well, what we did here is we took a fact and a second fact, and we drew a conclusion. If we go back to number one, that said using logic to draw conclusions based on accepted statements is deductive reasoning. So it sounds like this is deductive. So I'm going to say that, that looks like deductive. Let's look at number two. A number can be written as a repeating decimal if it is rational. That sounds like a rule. The second one says pi cannot be written as a repeating decimal. That sounds like another rule. Therefore, pi is not rational a conclusion based on two rules that also sounds like deductive reasoning. So which ones, if any, use deductive reasoning? They both do. Both one and two use deductive reasoning because they both use rules to draw a conclusion. Okay, thanks a lot. So that was standard 1.0 of geometry from the star release packet. Um, tune in for all the other standards. We'll do 2 through 22 coming soon. Thanks.